Yeah, hello, my name is Achim Dobermann. I'm the Deputy Director General for Research of the International Rice Research Institute, or IRI. And the gentleman beside me here is uh, Lee Weil. He's the head of our experimental station. And uh, what we want to do with you in the next few months is actually learn how to grow a crop of rice. Not just any crop of rice, we want to do it in the best possible manner we can think of. Now we are scientists, so we do a lot of research. And we believe that we know a lot about rice and how to grow it in different parts of the world. And we have lots of recommendations for farmers and extension workers. We often call them best management practices. You can find them on, on the internet, on our rice knowledge bank, in extension materials, in books, in scientific papers. But what we really, really want to do is try to practice what we preach. Because often we as scientists may come up with uh, things that you know don't really work in practice or sometimes you wonder why aren't people using them. So that's why Lee and I have decided well why don't we do it ourselves as much as we can do ourselves because some of the things we may not be really qualified to do but we'll try okay. We will. We will be qualified. Now Lee what qualifies you to grow this crop of rice? Yes, well I'm something of a fraud myself. Um, I am a, a rice farmer in Australia, but due to dry conditions and an absence from Australia for the last three years, I harvested my rice crop, last rice crop, six years ago. Six years ago. So I'm a little rusty as well. And you have not really done this uh, in a setting like this one here, in the humid tropics with small fields and wet environment. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. I'm out of my comfort zone and I suspect you're out of your comfort zone, so that's a good place to be. Right. Well, I've done research on this for 20 years, but really, you know, have I ever really done all these things together in a larger field? Probably not. You know, I have other people, or had other people do it for me, uh, but, you know, that's probably not the right thing to do. So come and join us, uh, come back with us uh, pretty much every week in the coming months and, and learn with us uh, what, what we do. We'll also not be shy at all to show you uh, what we might screw up. I'm sure we're going to mess up a few things, you know. But that's it. We want to learn uh, and we want to make sure that uh, the things that we recommend to farmers coming out of our research uh, actually work. You know? So we'll see where we are four months from now in terms of what crop we have grown, what its yield has been. We are, we are setting a high yield target. We're not embarrassed to yeah. say that. Yeah. What's yeah. the target? Well, normally we would say with best management practices, you would like to shoot for a yield of about 80% of the yield potential. And the yield potential here is? Well, in a good dry season, it's between 9 and 10 tons nowadays. So our goal should be probably, let's say, a 7 ton crop. That sounds a good goal. Yeah. Whether we'll achieve it, we don't know, but we'll be knowing more in four months from now. Thank you. Bye.